So today I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial and this is a really easy project for anyone that's beginning sculpting but this is a great project for kids and that's because kids love dinosaurs so today I'm going to show you how to sculpt a simple dinosaur out of clay. First put down a piece of paper so you don't get the oily clay all over your desk. I use Roma Plastilina oil-based clay at number one because it's the softest. I'll put a link in the description of where to get this clay. So go ahead and shave off enough, uh, just a handful, so you can first roll up a piece of the clay into an oval sh or cylinder shaped lump I should say. That will be the body for the dinosaur. Now we're going to roll up a piece of clay that will taper towards one end and that's because we will use this piece for the tail. Next we're going to make the neck for the dinosaur and we'll just roll that up in our hands and you see here I leave some of it hanging out of my hands. That's because that will be the head. We will slowly roll up the rest of it creating a neck. So the head will be a little bit bigger around than the neck of the dinosaur. Go ahead and curve that a little bit and just set that down. We'll come back to that here in a second. So now we are going to create the feet or the legs, I should say. So roll up two equally sized pieces of clay for the front and then for the back. All four of these pieces of clay will be relatively the same volume. Now that we have all of our pieces ready, you're going to go ahead and roll up those little legs into cylinder shapes. Try to get each of them evenly rounded and the same in length. Go ahead and set them down when you're done. Now we are going to attach the neck to the body by blending in the clay and kind of smooshing it together so to speak and then smoothing out the seams as you see me doing here with my thumb. And then go ahead and do the same thing to the tail. And here we want to again blend in the seams by just smoothing that clay back and forth with our fingers and our thumb. And you want the body to be a little bit round in appearance and then taper out to the head and the tail. Next we are attaching the legs. This is a little bit tricky because since it's a small dinosaur, it's hard to get your fingers in there to smooth out those little seams where they attach to the body. So go ahead and just get all of them on, and then we're going to use a tool of some sort after we try what we can with our thumb. This is a normal sculpting tool, but if you don't have that available, you can use a piece of wood, or better yet, a mechanical pencil is probably the best tool for this. Use the smooth part of the pencil to blend in those seams. Here we are going to shape up the head by pinching the nose on all sides and then curving the neck a little bit for a little bit more curvature on that dinosaur. Finally, use your thumbs and go along both sides to give the dinosaur the appearance of a well-defined spine on the top ridge of its back. The product of this work is a simple long-necked dinosaur that kids can create with just a little handful of clay. The first sculpture I ever made in my art career was a dinosaur. And that's because, like any other kid, I was obsessed with dinosaurs. So I hope this was a good project for you to try out with your kids or your students. Um, just follow the steps I covered in the video and they should be able to get a grasp on it pretty quickly. I just wanted to keep this video really short and sweet because I'm working on a more lengthy video project for the uh, trip I recently went on to the Bighorn Mountains. That will be coming out here in the next week or so and the drapery videos are still on their way. I'll be putting out some more tutorials on sculpting, um, drawing, other forms of art and I may do some more on different types of dinosaurs if they're what you're interested in. Just leave any comments on videos you might want me to make. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. That's all I have today though. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.